All right, guys, so we have the Pro Controller here for the Switch. Uh, we've talked about this already on the live stream that there is a removable battery in there, and it's actually a 3DS battery, believe it or not. So we're going to open this up. There's also, from what I've been seeing, a secret message that's actually in here printed on the board. Now, people have only been able to see it barely through, like, the sticks here, but when we get this apart, we'll actually get a nice clear shot of whatever this message is, or maybe there's other messages as well. So let's take this apart. There are screws right on the bottom here and here that we need to get off of there. They're just Phillips heads. And then that'll give us a good shot at getting inside, pulling the battery out. The battery is fully replaceable, which is good. So it is uh, completely easy to replace if you end up needing a new battery in there for whatever reason. Those come off, and so far it's just Phillips head screws. This is good. So more screws to do, and then we'll get the battery out. So this whole, this whole back part here is kind of, uh, just kind of clipped on. So once you get those screws out here, you'll see that it does come off like that. And that just, that's part of that clear uh, translucent plastic that we've been looking at for quite a while, which is pretty cool. And right here I noticed this during the live stream because you can see through it, it is a 3DS battery. Now it may not be the exact same shape and size, but it feels an awful lot like it is. And it's actually a 13... 1300 milliamp hour battery, which is the same as the 3DS battery. So this might actually just be a 3DS battery. They may have just had some of these in the factory and they said, hey, let's just let's just let's drop it in the Pro Controller because it obviously gives enough power if this thing gets 40 hours. So let's see. Uh, there's more Phillips head screws here. So let me put these guys off to the side as that for the plastic, translucent plastic. And these look like they just come right off. Let me just kind of, you always want to sort your screws if you can. So. There we go. I'm trying to be really careful with this controller because I actually like this controller a lot. <laughs> so it looks like it just clips apart like that, as you can see there. Uh, one ribbon cable here. That should just pop right up. There we go. And it's free. That's great. Um, sticky right here. Okay, so that's what was giving me an issue. This actually has like a, a almost like a sticky glue. Okay, so this is for the H, like the rumble. And that's just uh, sticky glue right there, like pads that look like it holds it to it. So that's, a, I guess, a good idea to kind of have the rumble go through to the front here because this all appears to all be one piece, which is good. It's where the buttons and everything would go through for that board. But this is the main control board here. Sticks are here. Um, these probably just pop right off. Very, <laughs> these look very similar to like a 360 uh, stick from I remember inside or an Xbox One stick. They're probably very similar um, because they do still have that click function, of course, and everything. Yes. Um, I like the board design being like a black design board. I think that's really cool. Um, and there is, okay, so let me get you guys a nice picture of this. I'm going to take these off so we can get a good picture. You're probably going to have a hard time reading it in the in this camera. I'll take a picture with a, a higher definition camera. That right there says, thanks. That would be THX2, thanks to all game fans, with an exclamation point even. Uh, again, I'll get you a better picture of it as well. Thanks to all game fans. Cool little message there by Nintendo. I like that a lot. That's really neat. But these motors here are just soldered straight into the board. They're, again, similar to how the 360 ones would be, where these are, uh, these are soldered in right here. And everything is there. There's not a lot else really to this thing, actually. Now I'm looking around it. Light sensors are down here. Bluetooth control chip. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty straight. I don't know if there's anything even underneath this board here. I don't think there is. There's not much holding it down anyway. A couple screws here and here, but this is soldered. I don't want to break that connection. 
Um, it looks... Uh... So that's the connection there. Then here we have our buttons, which are kind of held in just by, like I said, a piece of plastic here. And it has that, that smushy feel to it, of course. The trigger's also using the standard uh, kind of the smush... Yeah, we've talked about how they're not analog before, unfortunately. A lot of people didn't like that. Um, I don't mind it as much. If it's like that smushy feel, it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, but overall, this, this looks pretty good overall. It has the triggers there, the shoulder buttons up top, ribbon cable running to... Where are you running to? That is running to... Where are you running to? Okay, that's for the button board. Uh, interesting, okay. And then this runs to there. Oh, all right, that's not that's not bad. Now, if I take this off, this is going to spring out pretty bad. I don't feel like damaging my Pro Controller to that extent. But I do like the uh, the design here, having that thanks to all gamers. Nothing else really printed on here that's catching my eye. PWB Main 01. Uh, Bluetooth Control Board. Yes. Probably a chip for the HD Rumble that's down here and these are just like bricks almost I bet you it's glued in at the bottom there too probably on the other side it's like glued in yeah it is it's not it doesn't want to come out that's fine I don't really want to force it out uh, yeah you can see it actually right here it has glue on that side too holding it in so these HD rumble things are just little bricks that just vibrate differently on either side all the way down so that's pretty cool um, hmm not bad overall. I like the design. Let's put it back together and uh, get it back into shape. All right, guys, and that is it for the Pro Controller. I like the message inside. The battery at 1,300 milliamp hours is a big battery for a controller. Uh, keep in mind the Joy-Cons are, what, 525? So the Pro Controller is definitely designed to last. I mean, it does get up to 40 hours, has a better range than the Joy-Cons, as shown. It, it functions much better. I think it feels better in the hand. And overall, I think it's just a better controller. So the D-pad's nice as well. It's good to have a D-pad again, obviously. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about the inside. Let me know if you think uh, you'd like the little message left in there for us. Uh, anyone, I guess, who wanted to look. Uh, I think you can see it. I think it was through one of the analog sticks you can see it. So if you really take a look, people were able to take pictures of it. Now, I wasn't able to. I had to take it apart to see it. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like your, your Pro Controller. I, I like mine a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.